this last couple of days, you've grown up so much. I think I shot twice, as fast as I could. America's first female serial killer is hot property. Even before her arrest, over 15 Hollywood film companies wanted her story. I sent it She's been dead. sentenced to death six times. How many times you gotta kill me, you know what I mean? Eileen Warnos, the selling of a serial killer. Do you want the tapes? Do you want everything? When are you gonna pay me? Everybody seems like they just care about the money. Nick Broomfield's compelling documentary begins a new season of True Stories tonight, 9.30 on 4. But on my hair and beauty course, I'm learning what's good for hair. Perming and colouring can leave our hair dry and dull. But I've learned how to make it look healthier with Pantene's new daily treatment system. First, prepare your hair with Pantene shampoo. Then, treat it with Pantene Provitamin conditioner. Pantene's Provitamin treatment goes deep into your hair as Pantene protects and conditions from root to tip. Now my hair looks so healthy, and it really shines. So when friends ask me what's good for their hair, I tell them, try Pantene. Pantene shampoo and conditioner system with Pro Vitamin, the daily treatment for healthy looking hair. Sometimes you feel hungry between meals. That's when you look for something that really satisfies. Snickers. Fresh roasted peanuts, caramel and chocolate. Snickers really satisfies. This is Carlton Television. Now the latest news headlines from John Suchet at ITN. Good afternoon. The 14-year-old boy blinded in the siege of Srebrenica in Bosnia was today reunited with his mother. Doctors at the hospital in Tuzla, where Syed Vekric is being treated, say there is no hope of saving his sight. Malia was at Syed's bedside before he was aware of her presence. Where have you been, he asked her. Not far away, she replied. Is Enko there, he said, asking for his little brother. Feeling the boy's face and telling him not to cry. The doctors at Tuzla Hospital have now had time to make a full examination of Sayad's wounds. The news is not good. As Malia left the hospital, I asked her what she would tell Sayad. Nothing. I can't tell him he's blind, she said. The doctor told me I mustn't tell him. It's too soon. The mothers who accompanied Mulia today experienced the full range of emotions. For one, the relief of discovering a daughter practically unscathed. But for most, the terrible realization that another young life has been shattered. Damage no doctor can ever fully repair. Here, the government has unveiled radical proposals for a new English curriculum for primary and secondary schools in England and Wales. Ministers want children to be taught standard English from the age of five, with a greater emphasis on basic grammar and punctuation. For the first time, there will be a list of classical English literature. Shell is cutting the price of petrol from midnight tonight. It'll go down 13 pence to a new price of £2.27 p for a gallon of unleaded. Shell says it's due to the pound strengthening against the dollar. 
MPs are investigating the price of compact discs amid claims that record companies are deliberately overpricing them to make more money out of music lovers. The National Heritage Committee is hearing evidence from the managers of top-selling groups, Dire Straits and Simply Red. It's not the first time the cost of compact discs has been scrutinised. The Office of Fair Trading, looking at the issue last year, concluded prices were high. They couldn't act because there was no evidence of a monopoly. Equally, the Parliamentary Committee looking at the issue now has no legal powers to force prices down if they find they're too high. But a critical report might embarrass the industry. Tory MP John Gorst. Do you think that the retailers and the manufacturers are making a good or a, a, a not so good living? I would say they were making a good living. In many cases, said Ed Bicknell, consumers had bought records. Now they were buying the same music on CD. They've basically found North Sea oil. They've managed to sell to people the same goods twice, which is brilliant. I mean, absolutely, you know, we, we work in a capitalist environment. This is fantastic. We've actually sold people something twice, and we've got them to pay more for it the second time around. The industry says the money is needed, particularly in the pop field, to develop new acts. On the early evening news, we'll have a report on the two Warwickshire brothers who took the computer games company Nintendo to the Supreme Court in America and won, becoming instant millionaires. Join me, 5.40. Hello, I'm Fiona Foster. This is London Today. A trip to the park turned into a nightmare for a little boy. He was doused in lighter fuel and set alight. Simon Harris reports. The spot in King George's Park where the attack happened was deserted today. Parents too frightened to let their children come out to play. Derek Cripps was with his friend Paul Guliani when a man walked up, sprayed lighter fuel over his head and flicked a lighted match at him. Absolutely motiveless. Absolutely motiveless. Uh, totally isolated incident. We don't know why it's happened. Derek, his head on fire, ran to a nearby DIY store where staff put out the flames. The attacker ran off. It appears he probably had been drinking. Uh, one of the boys noticed uh, a bottle in the left-hand pocket of his jacket with a white top on it, uh, and it was apparent that he had been drinking. This is Simon Harris for London Today. Police have arrested a man in connection with the murder of a store owner stabbed to death as he tried to stop a con man. Mohammed Yakub was knifed outside his shop on Easter Sunday. He